So let's uh, let's go back to let's go back to Thanksgiving. Yes. You know, I mean, like the, the as you're listening to this tomorrow, as you you know, make the uh, miserable trek by planes, trains, automobiles, Zeppelin, hot air balloon, auto gyro, uh, one of those like uh, railroad cars that you, with two people where you go up and down, <laughs> yep, up and down, yep, yep. A, as a you, bird scooter. Yeah, exactly. As you get back to you know uh, your your family, and then um, of course the the awful awful Trump supporting uncles that you're going to have to you know confront, and you're going to have to remind him um, you know about uh, all the bad things. And you're going to have to stand up for all of the al- all the people you're allied with online who aren't there and don't actually know you. Yeah. You're definitely going to have to take a stand on their behalf Absolutely. at your at your family dinner. Yeah. So I mean, we all want to know like what are, what are some strategies? What are, what are, like what are some things? I mean, I'm reading here from. Um, in Mother Jones, um, Kevin Drum uh, talks about something called the Angry Uncle Bot. Mm. And he says, perhaps I will dedicate myself to reviewing other people's advice about how to deal with angry uncles at Thanksgiving. First up is Karen Tamarius, a former psychiatrist and founder of Smart Politics. She recommends a five-step process. One, ask open-ended, genuinely curious, non-judgmental questions. Two, listen to what people you disagree with say and deepen your understanding with follow-up inquiries. Three, reflect back their perspective by summarizing their answers and noting underlying emotions. Four, agree before disagreeing by naming ways in which you agree with their point of view. Five, share your perspective by telling a story about a personal experience. In order to practice, Tamarius has created the Angry Uncle Bot, which allows you to simulate conversation with your Trump-loving uncle. Can I just say that these conversations, for people who follow this, this is going to sound like Tony Soprano talking to Dr. Melfi if they both experienced severe head injuries. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just threaten to suck your uncle off. Exactly. Yeah. That's the only way to end these conversations. Yeah, exactly. Honestly. Just say, I'm, I'm going to suck that pecker. Yeah, no, I, 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 then it's I, over. You're done. I, I hate to be this guy, but if they're like a boomer, they're older, they're going to their grave believing all that. I'm well, sorry, man. No, I'm sorry. I, I hate to say it. I'm I, sorry. I think I actually have the most representative experience here. Uh, because you're a Trump voter. I am. I you're the Trump. guy that everyone argues with. Because Will, obviously, is, is from a family of, 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 uh, of fellow travelers. Uh, Felix has a, has a right wing uncle, but he's like an actual neoconservative. <laughs> yeah, he's so cool. Uh, he's, like, he's, he's not really man. a lumpen Trump supporter. <laughs> no, uh, but I have these guys. I have Trump uncles, like real guys, like real dudes. Who are your guys? Who, Who are, are your guys? Trump uncles? Uh, and they and I talk to them, and I do argue with them. Like I I joke about being above it, but they bait me because they like. They like it. They like conflict. They love seeing you Everyone, get triggered. People from my part of Wisconsin, it's funny, like Midwest has this reputation of, of all this, like the Minnesota nice, the sort of suppressed conflict. But, but like where I'm from, uh, the making a murderer town, people just fucking yell at each other all the time. Oh, yeah. It's like Russia, basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, every, I mean, Minnesota, Minnesota nice was never true. It just means pass. It's a joke. It's yeah. like they're just passive aggressive but, like, but they wouldn't have any passive aggression where I'm from. It's just aggression. Illinois, so same thing. They all love yelling at me, and I and I get mad at them. And they and it's funny. You yell right at them, and their just faces are just totally immobile. Nobody gets con- like I think a lot of these people. They just are a lot of these people freaking out about talking to their uncles. They're just terrified of conflict. They don't in their lives like per- like they love doing it on the internet, but they can't really. And that's why they do it on the internet because they can't they can't have conflict in their life. It makes them too anxious or something. And so these things are these awful fraught conversations, and they put, they like practice them in their head, and they act like it's diffusing a bomb. And but like, I've had these arguments just yelling at my uncle. And yeah, th- there's nothing is changing. I remember one time uh, a couple of things he just told me. One, that the missing airliner, the missing Malaysian airliner uh, was hijacked by uh, uh, ISIS guys in collaboration with Obama and that they were going to use it for a terror attack. Uh, and then a the year later, I asked him about it. He said he never to- said that. So at that point, <laughs> I mean, what are you even supposed to do? They literally won't like stand by what he's saying. One time he was talking about this is before Trump got in. Uh, he was complaining about uh, Obama wasn't doing enough about ISIS. And I just asked him, well, what do you want to do about ISIS? And he just mimed holding a gun. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, all right, yeah, let's, let's just let's crack this one open with some, with some like Habermasian, uh, you know, uh, uh, dialogue that's not gonna fucking work i mean they just they believe what they believe they're very they're very self-satisfied about it uh and they find you to be uh, insufferable i mean i am insufferable so i don't i i give him credit for i suffer you, know. you very easily right but i mean i think the older you are and the, and, and the less sufferable i am uh and you know it's just, it's certain, i just i still probably will argue with him once in a while just because uh 
because he will bait me, but I've definitely given up on the thought that I'm ever going to change anyone's mind. This guy told me that Uber was going to take over all public transportation. Why? Because public transportation doesn't make money. That's the problem with it. Unlike Uber. That's thinking with both your brains. Which has lost over $5 billion like in the past half a decade. There's no, there's no conversation to have that's going to change anything. And even honestly, if it did, people have this idea that, you know, it's just it's something. If, if, I think they just think it's something that they can do that will change the world because everyone feels so helpless. And here's somebody we, in your face with bad opinions can that we, you can try to change. And I understand the impulse, but I honestly don't think it's worth the mental fucking anguish that it clearly causes these people. Can we can we do some some role playing though? Because I want to like you know sketch out a scenario that may come up at Thanksgiving, and I'm I'm going to show you, I'm going to be the gallant. I'm going to show you how what, what you're supposed to do. Okay. Matt, could you play the angry uncle and feel like oh, yeah, can I'm you very play good. the large nephew? <laughs> okay, wait, am you, I the you, MAGA you, nephew? Or no, no, I, like, you're just a woke. nephew who's just like the wo- no, you're, okay. you're the stupid nephew yeah, you who don't like, doesn't understand politics. Yeah. You're like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the Michael Hudson guy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yo. I heard that they're gonna start like fucking the army. They're gonna be able to build like in Fortnite. And then, like, when they start doing that, it's going to be like, I is going to be like, yeah, we give up. Yeah, they're Felix. doing that. I'll tell you where they're doing that. They're doing that on the border. See, that's what's happening is those troops right now, they're building the wall, and they're doing it in secret. It's fucking brilliant. Trump's a genius. Damn. I wish I thought of that. Yeah. Uncle, I'm going to suck you off. <laughs> well, Damn, that's what? sus. What? No, like, seriously, maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. <laughs> But there will day there will be a day that will come when you will look down and your hog will be just getting sucked off <laughs> gloriously by me. A, a lib. A college student. I'm gonna go watch the game. Let me see that turkey neck. There's one on the table. Let's see the one in your pants. No, I'm going down to the basement. This is making me uncomfortable. See? There Damn, what if Travis Done. Scott did an album with Imagine Dragons? <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> See, that's all you need Dude, to do. That's perfect. The real guy you have to win over at Thanksgiving is the dumb nephew. That's yeah. the yeah. future. The, of the guy country. wearing the flat brim Infinity War gauntlet hat. Yeah, yeah. At you, Thanksgiving, yeah. but like at, with his shirt tucked in that is badly that his mom made him do, <laughs> tucked into like 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 fucking jeans with like eleven pockets. Yeah, uh, that guy has potentially like like thirty more election cycles in him. That uh, that uncle. Yeah. probably four. No, that guy. He if they bring back McRib at the wrong time of his like <laughs> cardiovascular cycle, he's done for. Yeah, he's made his last vote. So okay, well, that, that's a good point though. So it's like rough, fuck the the the, the Trump supporting uncle. How are you going to support the the flat brim hat wearing a nephew who who's a bird brain? Yeah, like that. A, like that's a better cause. And yeah. it's more more politically useful. Absolutely. So how how can we talk to them about socialism? All right, yo, I heard that um, under socialism. Uh, Minecraft will be real. <laughs> it, I mean, not only will it be real, you'll be working in a real mine. Yeah. They're going to make Kate Uptons for everyone. That is also true. Everyone's going to have a Corvette with its own bed. I mean, absolutely. It, it folds out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, can, so, you have a fold out cot bed in the back of your Corvette. So fucking pimp. President but, Bernie Sanders will pardon Takashi 69. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, so basically, yes, everyone's going to gonna finally admit that actually Xbox gamers are better than PC gamers because all the dumb nephews have a not really smart, but like smarter than them brother who's a PC gamer who's like a little shit. And he's you have to keep that. That's the nephew you have to keep from the alt right. Yeah, you really have to because PC gamers being the most advanced, like they drop out of society and they drift towards the far and violent right. And for them, you just have to suck their dicks. Sorry. <laughs> This is the incest Thanksgiving. It's the only <laughs> way you're going to stop it. You literally, you can, you're only threatening with your uncle, but you are going to have to blow your PC gamer. I mean, like, I mean, it, it will take some, you know, subterfuge. It, t- it will take a little bit of dishonesty, and that you will have to tell flat brim nephew that everything he thinks is cool will be uh, abundant and cheap and widely available under socialism, which is mostly true. Yeah, yeah no, you yeah. know, it's mostly true. But like, you may have to tell him uh, that, you know, like under. Uh, a socialist government, like, you know, mids will be compulsory. And then every like, you will have to smoke, like, a mid blunt, like, every day at 12, the entire nation. I'm we'll imagine- have to pause at the same 420, time. 420, baby. Oh, oh. At 420 and smoke a uh, mids blunt. I'm imagining, like, Theresa May running, like, Corbyn gets her place, but from the left by flap rim socialism. And she's like, how can we have an infinity war with finite resources? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the argument for austerity. So yeah, uh, that's that's Thanksgiving. That's that that. Luck, problem everyone. solved. Yeah, we saw Thanksgiving. Hard. We saw the economy. And, oh, buy some Iraqi dinars, sell them to your Trump uncle, there and then go. donate the money to your socialist cause. And of then choice. no, well, no, go use the money to buy uh, to high grade. You know, high grade. You yeah. know that loud. That, yeah. that indica or maybe a hybrid strain or something like that. Yeah. Then resell that trash. Get get yourself some mids. <laughs> And then use the profit, donate it to your favorite socialist org. Mine is the New Democrat Coalition. Well, happy Thanksgiving, guys. I am. Let's go uh, fuck that turkey. I am uh, so, so thankful for you and for uh, Chris, really, more than anything. And uh, for just, I guess, a little bit, the listeners as well. Tiny bit. A little scoosh. Who've given us nothing. Yeah. Literally, again, another year they've given us nothing. Thanks. Uh, thank you, guys. The albatross is around our necks. Let's just, let's just give thanks. Guys, yeah. Till next time. I thank you. I thanks. I thank you guys. And I'm giving you thanks. Yeah. Okay. Till next time, guys. Bye bye. See ya. Bye.